Hello friends, I am Dr. Priyankul Roy, Consultant, Reproductive Medicine and Surgery, Genome the Fertility Center, Siliguri. Today we will discuss about surgeries in infertility. Some of you might have this question in your mind that how is infertility and surgery related? But surgeries in today's day or today's era of ART or infertility plays a very important role in both male and female infertility. This can be divided into two parts. First of all, let me discuss about the lesser part that is the male infertility. The part which is usually done in India is a procedure called TISA. TISA is a procedure in which a, a male partner who has azoospermia or zero sperm in the seminal fluid can undergo a procedure called TISA to extract some sperm from the testis. So basically, after a azoospermia is detected, a blood test called FSH is done, which will detect whether the patient has obstructive azoospermia, that is the FSH will be within the normal levels or less than 12. And in those cases, sperm can be extracted from the testis by putting in a needle and this procedure is done under anesthesia. So it is not at all a painful procedure. The fluid thus obtained is handed over to the embryologist. He selects the good quality sperms from that fluid and injects it into the ovum that is obtained. So the embryos are frozen and later on transferred into the uterine cavity and thus the hope or the dream of having an offspring of same genetic composition becomes possible even for the male partner. Now if we talk about the female subfertility, there are a few pathologies which, which does impair the fertility factor in the females. So if we talk about the same, I will explain to you based on the 3D model over here. So if you see, um, the, this is what is called a fibroid uterus. A fibroid is a myoma that is or a tumor that is present in the uterine cavity. So a myoma can definitely impair the fertility factor and especially so when it, when, when it is implanted or when it is present in the endometrial lining. So a myomectomy is done or a, is a procedure which is done which can be done both hysteroscopically as well as laparoscopically and removal of the fibroid from the uterine cavity definitely in, uh, improves the chances of fertility. Second, if you look at the uterine cavity are a few things which are known as polyps. This red tissue that you see over here are those polyps. This polyps uh, impairs the implantation of the embryo and leads to more chances of abortion. Third thing if you look at is the ovary where it can be polycystic. So this number of uh, follicles that you see over here are basically significant of polycystic ovary. This polycystic ovary basically increases or rather increases the uh, LH level in the woman or rather it creates a hormonal imbalance which decreases the quality of the ovum. So a decreased quality ovum decreases the chances of uh, fertility and also decreases the chances of having a normal fetus. Fourth thing if we look at is the fallopian tubes. So fallopian tubes either can be swollen like you can see over here. This is called a hydrosalpinx. So this secretes fluid which is not good for the baby. So even if implantation occurs, fluid from this can come into the uterine cavity and destroy the baby and thus abortion can occur. And again, there can be blockage in the fallopian tubes which which decreases or which impairs the, the, the passage of the ovum and the sperm and also of the embryo back into the uterine cavity. So this blockage can be hysteroscopically opened and uh, after opening this uh, the blockage, the chances of pregnancy can also be improved. There are a few other things like endometriosis, the black spots that you can see. So this endometri endometriotic spots can be ablated by, while doing a surgery. And these are the few of the important pathologies in a female genital tract, which once corrected can definitely improve the chances of fertility. Next, let us look at a few factors like uh, the other surgeries that can be done. So even uh, in, in patients with uh, septum, there are chances of septum like uh, Mullerian abnormalities which in which there can be development of a septum in the uterine cavity. So a septum reduces the space of, uh, of for the fetus to get implanted and grow. So that once the septum is cut or a septoplasty is performed, the chances again of a normal fetus definitely increases. So these are few other procedures that definitely increases the chances of fertility. And I wish all of you happy parenting after having a baby. And thank you for watching this video.